Hey everyone, today we're at Floydie's place. He's picked himself up a new van. When I say new van, it's like... Yeah, 2018. 2018. Um, hasn't done anything to it yet. You've only had it two weeks, haven't you? Yep. But um, he wants a little bit of lift in it. So yep. what are we going to do? Oh, we're going to lift it high. Yep. Well, we're going to actually try it. We're going to, today we're going to flip the axles. See if we can get another 50 mil at least, I suppose. We'll, we'll see. Yep, we'll cool. take a measurement before and after and yeah well let's let's do that we'll take a measurement first and then yeah. we'll see what we get uh yep. see how much and we're picked out. we're picked a bit of a day to do it it's yep. absolutely pouring yeah throwing it down here on the cost coast but anyway thanks for joining us don't forget um to like subscribe and hit that uh, bell icon so you don't miss any future videos if you can subscribe that would be amazing thanks very much let's do it let's do it all right let's get your tape measure out what do we got right eh? we have We've got 7.43 to the underside of this, exactly. So that's gonna be our gauge. I'm hoping we get about 800. You're hoping for 800? I'm hoping for 800. I reckon we will. Righto, so what, we're, what the aim is, is to actually flip this axle here. We're gonna flip it under this, this spring and we wanna mount it, the axle, under the spring instead of on top. So it's actually going to pick us up. It should. It's actually going to pick us up probably a hundred mil of of clearance. Really, it's actually going to be lifted pretty high. But that's um, that's just an easy way for us to get more clearance. It doesn't change the suspension or anything, but it's just going to give us a bit more clearance, basically backing into places and things like that. So yeah, so we're gonna yeah, but that will just run through, and we haven't done this before, so. If we think of anything that might help, we'll, we'll add it. But if you have done it yourself and you've got some ideas, things uh, that yeah. we do wrong, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, there'll be a lot of comments, no doubt. So what I'm thinking about doing is originally I was going to take the drums off either side and then pull the axle through and then put it underneath. But what I'm going to try and do is actually unbolt this front leaf spring just through here, take this pin out and then hopefully both sides of the spring will just drop down and then we can pull the axle forward and then bring it underneath. That's going to save us a mile of work taking all the brakes and things off. So let's have a go at that. I just hope that that pulls out. So, we didn't have much luck with that because the problem is, is trying to get this pin out, the water tank's right there. We can't get anything to really belt it out. Um, we might try the back one though, because we've got a bit more room, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna unbolt the axle, I'm gonna unbolt the drum and just, hopefully we can just take the drum off and we'll go with it and hopefully that works. So, let's see.
So just taking out that locating pin there, gonna flip that over. Good call. Nice and easy. So do you want to go out towards me first? You might have to move that jack, dude. Oh yeah? It's going to get in the road. Yep, so we'll go out here okay, first. Go to me. And back in. Yeah. Right. Have you got yours on that locating nut? Yep. Mine's not sitting in there yet. Yeah. Oh, hang on. There you go, I'm on there now. Yeah, so I'll try and get... Are you, are you there? Yeah. Hey? Okay. I'm on, mate, yep. Yeah. I'll just get a couple in just so it won't drop out. Did they have a washer? What did they have? No, nah, they didn't. They just had that flatter nut, which just goes straight on. Yeah. Yep. And then it had the nylox over the top. Yeah. Good shirt on. So this front axle is done now, we just uh, drop that into the underside of those springs, tighten it back up, put it together and then uh, Bob's your uncle, and then we'll do the back ones. Nice and easy, hey man? Very easy. So axle's flipped, drums are back on, it's all, all tightened and uh, locked and ready to go, so just got to jack it up and um, put these wheels back on yeah. the front ones. We've got to jack it a fair, a fair height too. It's going to be a lot higher than what it was before. It's going to be a lot higher. I think I'm thinking 120 mil. Might need a ladder to get in. Might need a ladder to get in. I wish I had a trolley jack for this. You might need to put a block under that. Yeah, you because know, this might want to slip. I'll get it to a point. Hopefully I can get it that under it. Yep. And I'll redo it. Put a block of timber under there. You got any timber anywhere? Like put under that bottle jack? Yeah, I do. You know them them squares, there should be more. There's some over in the back, I think, behind the bins maybe. Wouldn't it? Yeah, have a crack.
Boom. Boom, bada, boom. Ooh. Round two, we're into the second side. Round two, this one will be should be a fair bit quicker. Yeah, there's, no hand, there's no handbrake, we know what we're doing. We kind of know what we're doing. Yep. So. Bang this one out, and then we're done. Yeah. That first one took us probably two hours. Yep. Yeah. Maybe two and a bit. I reckon this one an hour. Yep. Hour and it won't be longer than we'll be having a 4X gold. Sounds good. Icy cold. <laughs> If you, if you got a question about where Matt goes shopping for his clothes, just uh, leave us a comment below. We'll, Come um, on, we'll mate. send you we'll send you the link. I spent all the money on the bloody caravan <laughs> just for this one friggin' episode. Doubles up shirts and uh, rags. <laughs> shirt and rag. This is rag the, shirt, all in yesterday, one. Yesterday, this was my best shirt. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Chuck this side up here and then this is the last uh, wheel to go on and then we'll pull the tape measure out and see what we've got at. See what we got. See what we've got. Yeah, I'm good at <laughs> I'm good at tightening nuts. <laughs> And that, my friends, is an axle flip. Let's get Matt's tape measure out. We'll make sure we get his good tape measure. Not his dodgy one. Let's go. And we'll uh, see, what it, uh, see how much lift we got. Woo! What did we have before? Can you remember? Is it 573? No. Hey? No, no seven. Seven, 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 seven. 773. Well, it's nearly 100, Bill. 843. 843. Nice. 100 you can, see, you can see it makes a big difference already. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's heaps better. Yeah. Way Let's go check things. the other side on it. And it's not even level, is it? Oh, yeah, I'll level it up, right? Yeah. <clears throat> So Matt was saying before that um, when he backed his caravan down across the yard here, um, the back end of it was like 
pretty much was it clipping the concrete well the actual the back step would hit when we back it down here it'd start hitting this concrete section over here near that yeah drain. right so that'll that'll well, stop well it, it only that. just hit it so that'll clear it now easy yeah but that's a lot better it looks just looks a lot better yeah yeah awesome well that's it for the axle flip went all right yeah, Le learned from the um the first one. It was a lot quicker on the second time around. Yeah. The, the back axle, but uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was quite good. Ruined a good shirt. Smashed my finger. No, that's war, okay. war wounds. That's all right. All tough enough. But, uh, thanks for watching. If you've got any comments, drop them below. Um, happy to answer them. Um, in the meantime, take care. See you guys. See you.